Can you talk a bit about uh, the inspiration behind the comedy and the story, how it all came about? Yeah, so I made some shorts, uh, a short called YOLO in like 2012. And it was, you know, very chaotic and quick and fast. And that was kind of like the style of Newgrounds cartoons at the time and online cartoons. And uh, yeah, like when, when Adult Swim wanted to do a show with me after I had worked with them for a bit, like I did a Rick and Morty special, they were interested in doing, you know, a, a kind of like a crafty Australian show. It made sense to bring those characters back and kind of have them lead this, you know, weird show where we can, you know, try to have like an authentic thing with two girls and a friendship, but also uh, coat it with all this bizarre nonsense that happens around them. So it's kind of like a yin yang uh, thing going on. But um, the quickness is also just the adult swim, uh, you know, they, they do shows in 11 minutes as a format. So you kind of have to fit a lot in. So it is it is an adult swim, I guess, tradition to be quick and you know fit in your three act structure in those eleven minutes, which can be tough. There's a lot of cutting that goes on. So yeah, that's pretty much how it comes to be. And uh, for Todor and Sarah, I want to know at what point in the process did y'all come along, and how did you know you you all meet at collaborating in this sort of like genre of animation? Um, well, I've been. Um... Cusack's close friend since high school. So I've pretty much been there since the beginning. It was um, it was when uh, Cusack was in the middle of animating his original YouTube short that he called me. He was in the middle of shooting a, a live action film at the time as well. And he said, oh, I've got this thing on the side. Um, you know, it's just a YouTube video. Do you want to do the voice for one of the characters? And I went, yeah, absolutely. You know, that's just what we did at the time. We were just being creative and, and uh, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and then it went viral on YouTube and uh and you know a few years later you know Kizak got the deal with Adult Swim and everything like that and um yeah it was just it was back to it basically we were uh Kizak moved to Melbourne and and um we uh, started working in um Princess Pictures which was a converted church in uh, one of the suburbs in Melbourne um so yeah and uh, yeah I was pretty much it was me and Kizak the whole time just like yeah just shooting the shit and just having fun you know just uh that, that that's basically how the the initial uh, uh yeah recording session happens they do their writing in the writer's room um and then they come uh, uh you know the scripts come up and we're there in in the studio recording it ourselves just laughing ourselves to death basically yeah yeah and i'd i'd known um kusak from um a couple of other kind of like youtube sketch comedy uh interactions in Australia because I was in a uh, sketch comedy group with actually one of the writers of YOLO and then I was in Melbourne shooting another sketch show and then I got asked to come in an audition and so I went to the church and these guys had basically turned it into like this kind of like really cool it was like a music studio they had like guitars and everything kind of just strewn everywhere and then it was also like, a room for trash <laughs> <laughs> There was a trash room. It was, yeah, but anyway, the ones that you saw were the, were the good It was on like the, what, the third floor kind of at the back. Um, and then I came in and we did a little recording and then we went to the pub afterwards across the road for, for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> the best audition ever. 